Finally, I'd like to mix an exponential function and a trigonometric function. And the integral we have here is e to the 3x times cosine of 5x dx. Again, I'm going to use Stewart's book. And he has a section called exponential and logarithmic forms. And I'll show the formula that I'm going to be using. Um, it's formula number 99. So 99 says the integral of e to the au times cosine of bu du is equal to e to the au over a squared plus b squared times a cosine bu plus b sine bu. Again, plus a constant. So let's try to figure out how to uh, reconcile the integral we're given with this formula. Well, obviously the a is 3 and the b is 5. And we can just leave dx, uh, x being the same as u. So then we can read off the answer from this formula. We have e to the au. OK, that's e to the 3x. Now, a squared plus b squared, that's 3 squared plus 5 squared. 3 squared is 9. 5 squared is 25. So 9 plus 25 is 34. a is 3, so 3 cosine b is 5, 5x, plus b is 5, 5 sine 5x, plus a constant. So that's our answer there. Um, that's the last example on using integration tables. I want to emphasize here something that uh, not a lot of students realize, is that all of the formulas in these integration tables were derived using the techniques we've been learning in the lectures here. So these formulas should not come as sort of mysterious, magical formulas that you, that you just sort of invoke blindly. Um, all of these formulas uh, come from the techniques we've been learning. This one that we just used here, for example, is actually coming from integration by parts. We did a problem in the integration by parts lecture where we did integration by parts twice. And we essentially derived this formula. So if you're ever stuck without a table of integrals, you can figure out all these formulas using what you've learned in the other lectures. Um, what, what the role that these formulas play is just if you don't want to go through integration by parts twice, um, if you've done that enough times that you kind of understand the procedure and you have to do this integral again, you just kind of quickly look it up in an integration table in the back of the book or on the web. And you can jump essentially straight to the answer here. And it's the same answer that you would have gotten if you had used integration by parts twice and gone through a little extra arithmetic there. So that concludes the section on integration tables. This has been educator.com.